Is your aunt always asking about your girlfriend? Do you have to stifle your love of Shakira? Are you always your grandma's dance partner at a wedding? Then you might be a gay Latino. Here is the truth about being a gay Latino. Hooking up for gay guys is already kind of shitty. Our options are mostly limited to grinder and gay bars. But one of the worst parts is when people make assumptions about your ethnicity. Look, just to be clear, I understand I don't read as very Puerto Rican. I'm told I look very Jewish, which is fine. But when a guy I'm hooking up with finds out I'm Latino, suddenly I have become Poppy. So the first two times we hook up are poppy free, and then they find out my last name, and suddenly they try to slip in like an oh hey poppy, oh hi poppy, I love you poppy, like we're spending a weekend at a Costa Rican bungalow resort. I like to imagine the situation reversed. Like if I was dating some Italian guy and I was like, Signore, a blowjob, per favore. No one in my family is safe from being grilled about marriage from my grandmother. At family gatherings, at dinners, when they come out of the bathroom. And her gay grandson used to be the one exception. But thanks to a recent Supreme Court ruling, that's all changed now, hasn't it? In fact, in 2015, Pew Research found that 56% of Latinos are now in favor of gay marriage. My grandma thinks I should have three kids by now. I am now the primary target of marriage questions at dinner. I have to answer questions about my non-existent love life while my grandmother force feeds me mofongo. Thanks, Obama. I grew up surrounded by powerful and outspoken women, but I never had a gay Latino role model. Here, let me see if I can name a few. Um, well, there's Ricky Martin. Well, he didn't come out until 2007, so that doesn't really count. There's that guy from um, My So-Called Life and Walter Mercado. Well, actually, Walter gives an interview every couple of years where he says something like, I am not gay. The planets just saw a future of chastity for me. I just feel like he transcends gender. Wedding, quinceanera, baptism, every Latino party has dancing, and every single cousin and or widowed great aunt needs a dance partner. So that's where I come in. As the lone gay family member, it is almost expected that I'll dance with him. And actually, it's kind of a lot of fun. But the sad truth is I can't dance. Someone should tell the women in my family I am actually a terrible gay sidekick. I don't do many petties, I do not like Jennifer Lopez in rom-coms, and I don't want to go with you to the hair salon, unless the hairdresser's kind of hot. I grew up in Florida, where sex ed is taught by a very uncomfortable PE teacher using alligator sock puppets. I was also raised in a Catholic household, which means that I thought babies came out of a woman's butt until the fifth grade. That is not a joke. As if talking about sex as a teenager isn't already awkward enough, I feel like all the questions I had could never be addressed in class. Actually, it wasn't until Google image search became a thing that I found the answer to my most burning questions. It's actually a major problem. According to the CDC, Latino men accounted for 87% of new HIV infections among Latinos in 2010. Most of them identified as men who have sex with other men. The estimated rate of new HIV infections among Latinos was more than three times that of their white, non-Latino counterparts. One of the most important tools Latinos can arm themselves with to fight these statistics is knowledge. And that starts with honest conversation, not sock puppets. Those are my experiences growing up as a gay Latino, but yours might be different. Maybe you, like Walter, transcend gender. If so, tell me in the comments. I want to hear about that. Until then, we're here, we're queer, and I'm not going to your bungalow in Costa Rica, poppy.